So my prediction is that this bottle will be twice as high pitched as this one. Ready for a test? Hey, look, they're here. The people, look, look. Oh, hi. Earl and I were just investigating the science of sound. Are you gonna tell them about all the cool things? I can't wait. I'm gonna go get ready for our concert. Don't forget to tell them about the pitch, Ash. Have you ever been drinking from a bottle and blown across the top? Have you ever wondered where that sound comes from? Today we'll be investigating the science of sound. So grab your science kit and get ready. For this activity, you'll need a ruler, at least three different glass bottles, a marker or the pencil from your science kit, and water. You can also use food coloring if you want your bottle instruments to be colorful. First, I'll measure the height of the bottle. It's nine and a half inches high. I'll make a little mark with the marker on my bottle at halfway up. You can use the uh, pencil from your science kit. Now I'm gonna fill up the bottle with water to hit my mark. My bite size science kit has a funnel, so it's easy to do. I'm going to mark the next bottle three quarters of the way up. And I'll use the funnel to fill it up to the mark. Now let's see what happens if we don't put anything in the last bottle. Now comes the fun part, seeing what kind of sounds we can make. Which bottle do you predict will make the highest note? One, two, or three? Let's try it. Hey Ash, hey, what Earl. are you doing? I was just showing the people uh, how they can try their bottle orchestra. Do you wanna give it a go? Yeah, do you think you can show me how to do that? Sure. You're gonna hold the bottle up like this and just blow across the top like this. That's pretty cool. It seems like it would take a while to learn though. I had to try a lot to figure this out, Earl. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah, you know, one of my many PhDs is in recycled orchestra composition, so I'm hoping I'll have a good chance. That's awesome. Listen closely as Earl blows on the bottles. Which one do you think will make the highest pitch sound? The one that's half full, the one that's three quarters full, or the one that's empty? Ready, Earl? Yep. <laughs> Now we'll try the one that's three quarters full. And half full. What did you notice? Thanks for including me in your experiment. I'm gonna go keep getting ready for our concert. Bye! See you later, Earl. Let's take a closer look at the science. Our investigation of sounds showed us a little bit about how musical instruments work. All sound is made by vibrations that travel through the air. Remember how we talked about how light acts like a wave? Sound does too. The vibrations make air molecules bunch together and travel like a wave, with air pressure increases and decreases. Sort of like if you hold a slinky between your hands and let the links travel back and forth. The science word for the higher and lower tones we heard is pitch. The pitch of a sound depends on the sound's frequency. How quickly an air pressure increase is followed by a decrease. When the frequency is higher, so is the pitch. Our bottle instruments are sort of like flutes or organ pipes. They have a column of air inside them, and how long that column of air is will determine if the pitch is low or high. When the height of the air in the bottle is shorter, the frequency will be higher. So the bottles that have more water in them make higher notes. You can use this science to help you tune your bottles 
to play notes. Hey, Ash, are you ready to give our band practice a shot? Yeah, Earl. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's some really great music. Hey, you can send us videos of you playing your bubble orchestra and making songs, too. Yeah, send your best videos of the music you can make with bottles, jars, and water. Hey, before you go, make sure to go online to scienceworksmuseum.org or click the link in the description below to get your free kit. If you haven't yet, you're really going to want to do so before our next episode. See you next time!